Why have you forsaken me? And why have you turned your backs on me? Praise the Lord. This is Apostle Wise Preach coming to you with an urgent prophetic word for the nation of America. Stay tuned. I'm calling for a 72-hour fast this coming Monday, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, and we open up on the 14th at 6 a.m. 72-hour Esther fast, just water, no food. This is a consecration fast, an opportunity for man to reconcile with God. If you will join me, and those that will fast with me, I want you to comment right now and type, I will join you in this 72 hour fast. I will also post and pin in the comment section what we are to pray for and a guideline for you to follow. We have got to pray. This is a clarion call to this nation. We have got to pray. The Lord says to America, return back to me. Before I commence with this word, I want us to look at a passage of scripture in Zechariah chapter one, and I'm going to read from verses three, and the word of God says, Therefore say to them, thus says the Lord of hosts, return to me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Do not be like your fathers to whom the former prophets preached, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, turn now from your evil ways and your evil deeds, but they did not hear nor heed me, says the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? Yet surely my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants, the prophets, did they not overtake your fathers? So they returned and said, just as the Lord of hosts determined to do to us according to our ways and according to our deeds, so he has dealt with us. The Lord is speaking to us emphatically, America, because we have broken the heart of God. And the Lord has caused this nation to become a reproach because of the wickedness, because of the lawlessness, because of the deeds we have practiced in secret. God has seen it. He has witnessed it. He has perceived it in his sovereignty. And God is calling for this nation to turn back to him with weeping. For this year, 2021, will be a year of travail. And God is calling for people all over this nation and all over the world to turn back to him with weeping and repentance. For the day of the Lord is coming. The day of the Lord is coming. Yea, it shall come like a thief in the night. The day of the Lord is coming. Prophetically, what came to me last night as I began to meditate and ponder on the book of Esther, specifically this one character who was close to the king by the name of Haman. And this revelation was brought to my attention. The Bible reveals to us that Haman set a plot or a conspiracy by being incited by those kin to him to go and prepare some gallows to go and hang Mordecai. In this context, Mordecai represents the church. Haman represents the Antichrist. I want you to hear me very closely. Prophetically, this is what is happening right now, is that the Antichrist or Haman has erected gallows all over the world as we get ready for this next phase that pertains to persecution. And people of God, this is an hour, it's a season, and it is a time for us to draw nigh to the Father and He will draw closer to us. People of God, this is not a time to play church or to be lukewarm. This is an hour of reckoning. This is an hour of judgment. This is an hour of the glory of God. People of God, this is an hour where we need to see, as the Bible says, watch and pray, glory. See, the Bible reveals to us that the enemy prowls around in the book of Peter like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. 
The enemy is prowling around, seeking whom he may devour. Because many people have turned their backs on God. Now, I want us to look at something else in the book of Joel chapter 2. There is something here that God wants us to see as it pertains to the protocol in which we have got to implement so that our hearts, my God, are reinstated in their original position in God. Because our security, our affirmation, you know, our identity is encapsulated in our knowledge of God. The Bible says that the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And so everything we will ever become is encapsulated in God. Hallelujah. And so therefore we have got to come back to him, my God, so that we would be restored as a nation and as a people. Because there are many people, as I said before, that have turned their backs on God. But look at Joel chapter 2, verses 12. The Bible says, Now therefore says the Lord, Turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. So rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. And he relents from doing harm. Who knows if he will turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him? a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and nursing babes, let the bridegroom go out from his chamber and the bride from a dressing room. Let the priest who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord, and do not give your heritage to reproach, that the nations should rule over them. Why should they say among the people, where is their God? I believe that is where we are prophetically, where many people are wondering and looking at believers, looking at the church, and they're asking this one question, where is your God? Where is the God who parted the seas? Where is the God who sent plagues to Egypt? Where is the God who delivered his people? There are many people right now that are wondering, where is your God? But there is a secret protocol to activating this dimension of grace where God reveals himself and manifests his will on the earth realm. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, that if my people, which are called my people, the church, by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. Now my eyes shall be open and my ears attentive unto thy prayers that have been offered up in this place. God will only hear the prayers of the elect, his people, when we humble ourselves, pray. My God, seek his face and turn from our wicked ways. As long as wickedness continues to thrive in a nation, the nation will be given over to reproach, and that nation will be a reproach among many nations. America, God, is calling for this nation to turn back to him. My God would travail with weeping, with sackcloth. Return back to him with your heart. Return back to him with fasting, with mourning, with weeping, with lamentation. Return back to him that the Lord may visit this nation. Many people have allowed themselves to fall susceptible to idolatry. You have exalted man above God. And the Bible says, cursed is a man who puts his trust in man. People of God, this is not an hour to exalt man. God in this hour is God and he will always be God. And God says, you will have no other God before me. There is no other God besides Yahweh. He reigns and he rules by himself. He is God alone. And besides him, there is no other. But the Bible says the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. And I believe in this season we are about to see the sovereignty of God. For God in this hour is flipping the script on what a lot of people believed. Their preconceived notions and ideas pertaining to what they thought God was going to do. God in this hour is about to showcase his glory, his might, and we are going to behold his majesty and his splendor. 
But God in this hour says to us, to you, America, to those of you that are watching across the globe, return back to me, says the living God. This is Apostle Wise Preach, and I give God all the glory.